find some food. How much time do we have left on that? Two hours? Okay. Food. Explore the ravine. Scavenge what you can and eat until you're full. Yeah, um... Oh, crows. Your ears are your best survival tool. Really? I don't know, I don't know about that one. Pay attention to your surroundings and you might glean information that's important for your survival. For, an for example, a murder of crows circling up ahead might suggest an animal carcass, or even a human corpse might near be nearby. Can I eat a human corpse? That would, that's... Hmm. Still, still don't need rose hips. All right. That was a hell of a storm last night. Blew that tree clean over. Oh, oh, yeah. And there's a deer, a deer carcass up there. Yep. All right. Perfect. Still, still can't run. Really wish I could run. Just gotta slowly meander my way over to everything. This carcass could save my life. This doesn't look too good, but what choice do I have? All right, well, uh, yeah, harvest all of it. It'll take an hour and 45 minutes. Luckily, you have in-game time. Uh, that's it, okay. Imagine me. Raw meat, everything you eat can kill you. When starving, you may feel desperate enough to take your chances, but in general, Eating raw meat is a bad idea. Cooking it over a fire to avoid getting food poisoning or parasites. Cook it over. Got it. Cook, cooked meat also lasts longer and attracts fewer predators. Is that true that cooked meat attracts fewer predators? I mean, I could kind of see that, but it, it seems... I don't know. Will coat. Will's coat, rather. Nice. Clothing is armor against the cold. Out in the wilderness, clothing is like armor against the elm. Yeah, okay. You don't have to repeat yourself. Wear layers, wind is your enemy, clothing offers different protection from cold and wind chill. Clothes can get wet. Makes them ineffective. You <laughs> got it. Yeah, it could get damaged. Okay. I could probably climb that. What, climb this? How do I Oh, yeah. <sighs> are, you, are you kidding me? Rose hips. Mother Nature's pain. Oh. So now it's time. I thought, but aren't rose hips also just something you eat? Craft rose hips into preparation. Maybe I've just been wrong about that this whole time and, and I'm complaining about nothing. Craft rose hips into a preparation that can be boiled in water to produce a tea with pain relieving properties. Okay. Um, can I just not climb up here now, now that I have a sprained ankle? Am I just gonna fall again? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh. I'll take this wood. Astrid's back. There's a really weird camera angle and all that. Jackrabbit Remote Transport, Mackenzie speaking. Whoa, whoa, slow down, Morgan. What are you talking about? It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Uh. Hello, Will. What are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since... I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well... What brings you... I mean... Are you sick? <laughs> no. No, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. 
So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Uh, Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me, or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad, but it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not... Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. So I'm wondering... Yep. Was in this case, okay. Aspred was ready to die for it. So we got that whole fucking long cutaway flashback for just picking up one item? That is like a- that is a terrible way to design a game. Like, I'm just in the- like, it wasn't even the end of the day. I thought it was just over, and like, all that stuff I was doing was worthless. But no. Also, I can't even look in this backpack? Are you kidding me? Good. Yeah, this game is- this is- this game is- good impressions we're getting here. But yeah, uh, you, normally it's not a good idea when someone's like getting- you know, early on in the game, for one. You know, you're just getting an idea of what the game's gonna be like. So it's early on, and you're in the middle of gameplay. You know, you're just, you're going around picking stuff up. Oh, what's that case? Pick it up. Five minute cutscene. With a, with a, you know, backstory flashback that like, I don't care. It's not, it's not a good way to, like, just let it tell the story through the game. Don't play me a little, dumb little movie. Especially like, early on and in the middle, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it wasn't at the very beginning, which is, like, acceptable, I guess, you know, if it's the very first thing that happens in the game. And it also wasn't, like, much later down the line, where, like, you've done a lot of gameplay, and they stick it in to, like, break up the gameplay. You know, that's fine, I guess. Um, but this was just, like, the worst timing it could have been. That was just, that was just, just bad. Shouldn't, shouldn't have done that. Also, I, I don't, I didn't really want to interrupt it, even though it was, like, I didn't like it, but, uh, she, the, the woman looked pretty ugly. I think that, that is worth saying. And the man had some interesting animations sometimes, where, like, none of the face... There was one point in particular where none of his face was moving except for his mouth, and it was just moving, like, straight up and down. And, uh, yeah. I, I, it's not leaving a, a good taste in my mouth, is I think what I'm getting at. But, okay. I think that might just be, uh part of, like, you know, uh, games with, uh, like, survival games like this probably shouldn't have a story. Uh, you know, it's, this might be proof of that. But it's the tutorial, so I'm gonna at least play through, you know, that much of it. 
Uh, pretty low on fuel. Okay. So, gamey venison. Now what is... I thought venison was just gamey. I thought that was like, you know... I thought it was dependent on the type of meat, how gamey something was. Because it isn't gamey like a description of its taste? How could I tell that it's gamey? Or am I wrong about... I'm not, I'm not entirely sure about that one. But, yeah. Like, I've always heard, like, someone would say, venison is gamey. So to say, gamey venison seems like, of course. Oh, is it? Is it about how fresh it is? That makes sense, except that that means whenever I've heard someone say it before, it doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? Like, that would make sense in this context, like, oh, it's gamey. Yeah, because it wasn't in the best condition. That, that makes perfect sense. But now it makes me wonder why people said things like, venison is gamey. Now that doesn't make any sense. Uh, okay, still pretty hungry. Uh, kind of hungry still. Water purification. Yeah, use that. One liter or 0.26 gallons. Uh, yeah, let's use a couple more of those. Alright. Oh, good. Nice. Oh, we didn't even have to use anywhere near all of it. So the day should end now, right? Oh, right, the rose hip thing. Um, I guess we want to boil water. I can only boil that much. All right. Yeah, that actually that's uh that's something to point out. Yeah, uh, I just ate five pounds of meat. Just, <laughs> just. Just shoved it down. Um, how, how do I, uh, first aid? Nope. Uh, yeah, rose hips. Can be used in a tea. Okay, but how? Oh, oh, prepared. Got it. Right, and now... Cook, I guess? It's tea, so it does, cook doesn't seem like the right word, but... Okay. Rosehip tea. Huh. Uh, drink tea. Nice. As well rest ankle. up. No telling what tomorrow will bring. What do you mean, may as well rest up? You were out for five minutes, sat around in the middle of the snow having a flashback, and then just, oh, time to go to bed. Had some nice tea, five pounds of meat. I feel stronger today. <laughs> I think I can climb out of here now. Yeah, you consumed half a deer. Of course you feel stronger. Uh, as you learn things about the world, either through your own actions or through interacting with people, you unlock knowledge about people, places, things, and actions. Deeper knowledge can be revealed when you gain the trust of other survivors you meet. This knowledge is tracked in your journal for future reference. Okay. So, is my mission now to gain knowledge? It's time to climb out of the ravine. Oh, well. Okay. I can do that. This bark and stuff could be useful, though. Oh! I, I, for some reason, I press space, and uh, that does actually allow you to pick things up the same as clicking that button. And it's, I mean, it is like a second faster, or like a, a few milliseconds faster, so.
Yo, why can't I search this backpack? Oh, wait, no. I thought that was lit up. Yeah, it takes more rose hips, I guess. Only one way to go. Uh. You know, don't fuck up this time. Also, was that a wedding ring on his left hand? That's see, that's how you tell a story. Just it just it just it's right in there. Just mix in with the game, like, oh he's married. Or was married or something, you know. It's not exactly a good example, but I'm just saying it's it's better. Do I need all these rose hips? I'll take another, but now I've got yeah, I don't think I need more than that. Stuck. There we go. Stuck. Stuck again. Okay. I just want to check out whatever that rock was or whatever. Yeah, it's nothing. Okay. Good. Get up. Come on. Getting near the top. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know about this game so far. I guess it's really not. It's too early to come to a conclusion, and I'm not playing survival mode, so, which is like, I mean, this, that's another thing, this was an early access game until just recently, and I'm pretty sure only with the latest release, like the actual release, did they even add in story mode. Before that, was, it was just survival, and that's what everyone was talking about was so good. They weren't talking about, you know, sure, this. Oh my god, another flashback? I won't skip it, you know, if, if, but come on. I see you're still wearing it. Huh? Oh, they're talking about the ring. ring. Yeah, okay. No need to be subtle. Our ring. Our, wow. Our, could you be less subtle, please? I just forgot to take it off. I wear mine too. Why? Memories, I guess. I thought you wanted to forget. Not all of it. Look. I, I should have looked for you. It's okay. I've kept busy. I've moved on. You sure? Because this all seems pretty familiar. You still working with that researcher? Doctor, what's his name? No. No, I'm not working at the center anymore. Well, then where? I'm working on my own. Freelance, you could say. Freelance doctor? That sounds legit. I don't question your life choices, Mackenzie. Plenty of things you could be doing besides hanging out in your dad's old plane and drinking in the daytime. Hey, we had a lot of good times in this plane. And it's under control. I know, okay? Uh, I'm not here to fight, really. I think about him all the time, you know? I know you do. But I did. The choice I made. I did it for us. Let's... You don't have to. Let's just not... No. It's important that you hear this. There's things I need to Mackenzie, say. Mackenzie, not now. There's... Just let me tell you. Will, shut up for a second. Something's wrong. That is not good. What's going on? Power's gone. The whole electrical system looks fried. Shit! What's happening? No power means we're going down. Hold tight. signs of Astrid around here somewhere. Oh, look, chapter two. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't know how I feel about this story. That one wasn't as, like, I don't know. It didn't feel as bad as forced. Maybe just kind of more used to it. It's worse. Poor girl. This isn't how things were supposed to end. Okay, well, yeah, I, I don't know. It didn't seem as bad. But still, it's like, I understand that it's a story mode, but that doesn't mean it has to be just a story. You know, like, like, 
and nothing else. It, it, the amount of time spent on the story should not rival the amount of time spent on the game. Although, preferably, they should be the same amount of time. You know, they should be the same time. It should happen at the same time. That's what I'm saying. Beef jerky. Cool. Okay. And I don't know. The whole survival thing feels kind of... I mean, it's pretty... It's it's very railroaded so far. Which is my complaint about the last game, too. Which is funny. But, uh... That, that game did open up a, a bit. I mean, it kind of opened up in that area. And then you... We're supposed to go to the next area. I'd have to play it a little longer to see if it really opened up in a big way. But it opened up enough to where it didn't feel like you were just doing what the game told you sort of thing. This one so far, I mean, okay, I get it, it's the beginning, but that is what's been happening. It's just you do what the game tells you. Hopefully that doesn't, uh, that doesn't keep up. Um, oh, here we go, okay. So I've got... Oh, I should have put this coat on earlier. So I've got a coat. And I've also got a down vest I can wear underneath. That's completely frozen. Um, so I should probably not have that on, right? And these socks, too, I should probably take off. The coat's a little wet. But I guess that's fine. I don't know. She definitely passed through here. I didn't hurry. Sprinting, run for your life. Oh. <laughs> I love it when games do that, when they like tell you what's gonna happen next, and it's supposed to be something like scary or exciting happening next. Like, run for your life. Oh. Unless unless that's just a, a text thing, but I don't know. It, it it makes it seem like, oh, something's about to chase me. Okay. Walking through the snow with a heavy pack can get tiring, but sometimes you just have to run. Escape wildlife, avoid weak ice or get to shelter faster by sprinting. Keep in mind that sprinting uses up more calories than walking and sprint stamina is limited by how restrictive your clothing is. It takes you a while to recover sprint stamina so use it wisely. Uh, so it sounds like even though I can run most of the time I'm not going to want to. Although considering that it just told me how to run I guess now would be the time to do it. Like I, yeah if I look at this uh, here uh, calories, 1,200, and now if I just run for a little bit, I'll pick up the stick, run for a little bit. Now what's it at? Ah, it's not going down that fast. I mean, that's, okay. I was expecting, you know, some major, major decrease. Got some rabbits around. Stones. Aim true and you won't go hungry. You can pick up small stones and use them to stun rabbits. Equip them then, and throw them to hit a rabbit and grab it while it's stunned. If you can kill it, you can eat it. Alright. Okay. Wow, okay. Yeah, I've got... <laughs> Fucking throw like a girl, man. I, think, I guess you gotta get a little closer. Is there a is there a sneak? There is. Oh, yep. Come on. Yeah. Nice. There's a release button. Like someone's gonna do that the first time and like, oh, I can't do it. So yeah, rabbit carcass. Nice. Harvest. Meat hide gut. Let's just keep it around for now. Is it... Hmm. Is it better to keep it around or is it better to harvest it right away? Would that affect how fast it rots or anything like that? Not sure. I'm, like, I'm definitely not gonna eat it right now. Although it's it's cold, so maybe I should start a fire. Someone's been here recently. Oh. Could it have been Astrid? Well, this is a good spot to start a fire, I guess. Because I am very cold, right? Freezing. Yeah, hypothermia risk. Okay. 
Uh, I guess I don't need to use the accelerant, right? It would increase the chance of success, but that's not too bad. That's true, it does save inventory space. Yeah, having the rabbit instead of like the hide and the meat and the Come guts. On. Come on. But I don't yeah, I don't know if rabbits scream. That's that's a good that's a good question. I gotta I don't know. <laughs> Kill a rabbit sometime and uh and find out. That was a weird thing I didn't know about uh when I was up in Alaska. Fire's life out here. Bunch of rabbits everywhere. Just running around town. And and they, they were all used to people. So you just walk right up to them and they, they wouldn't do anything. They they would just sort of like if you get really close they'd walk away, but but they didn't mind people. Oh no, not a torch. That's not what I wanted. Okay. <laughs> didn't really want to throw it either. But yeah, let's get some fuel. And I guess let's get this rabbit meat. Are we low on, uh, on... Are we hungry? Yeah, we're pretty hungry. So... Harvest this. Already, this is better. This is like... it Because it didn't outright tell me that, like, you should stop here and, and start a fire and, and eat the rabbits. Uh, you know. So that's that's cool. It, 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 it just left me to figure that out myself. Not that it was a complicated thing to figure out. But. All right, got that going. Um, can be used for crafting and repair after air drying indoors for five days. Couldn't I also just eat it? Orange. Okay, let's let's. I guess I can't eat the guts. Why not? Oh oh, my fire's running out. Oh, okay. Back. Yeah, wait. Whoa, whoa. Add fuel. There we go. Maybe add... Yeah. I don't think we're warmed up yet. Cook some more rabbit. Yeah, and I know cooking it definitely makes it last longer, so this is, this is good. Uh, do we want to melt snow? We're pretty good on, on water, actually, for now. Maybe we want to do it while we're here and warming up. I guess that makes sense. Although, no, we're warm now, so maybe we'll just eat. No, but we need to drink too, but we can drink this. Um, yeah, let's eat this. 58? Wait a minute. That's it? 58 calories? Fuck, that's a lot of work. Oh, oh, it was just a leftover from the big piece. Are you heading off? Yeah, I'll see you later, Alex. Thanks for stopping by. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna drink the soda, I think. Except I don't know what, what that means. Yeah, alright, okay. Yeah, I still need more water. There we go. Okay. Um, what else do we need to... Hmm. Hmm. Is that good enough? Could eat more. Maybe some jerky. Oh, that's just how much of it's left. It's like it's durability. I got it. Yeah. That's... Oh, no. Maybe not? They must be durability. I, I guess. Yeah, alright. And... You know, I think that's actually a good place to, uh, to stop it. Um, not just because my friend Alex, who's watching, <laughs> just, uh, just left. But also because I think that's just a good spot. Um, I think, I think this is a... Yeah, yeah, we'll stop it there. Um, and... Just, just continue it later, because I don't know, maybe I'll play a little bit more of the story mode. But I think this is a good place to stop it, because I think that's probably it. We've learned enough that now we can go into survival mode, which is what I really want to do. So uh, that's what we'll be doing next time. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.